Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. Praise be to you, Lord, the God. From everlasting to everlasting. Yes, God. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. Of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and to give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. For great indeed is the Lord and greatly to be praised, church. It is a good thing. It is a good thing to give God thanks. It is a good thing to give God thanks for his faithfulness. For he is indeed a faithful covenant keeping God. And for his unfailing love, his sacrificial love, his unconditional love. And we are grateful of the goodness of God. How many of you want to raise your hands and testify of the goodness of God this morning? You know, just somebody had to ask Pastor Ed to Google exactly how many days in the year we are at so far. All of us know yesterday is November the 2nd. But how many, how many days in the year? And sometimes we take these things for granted. God has assured us that he'll be with us from the beginning of the year until the end of the year. How many of you went through something in January? Who went through something in January that is that's grateful that they've reached November the 5th? Who went, some, who went through something in February or March or April? Oh, the enemy, the enemy thought that he had us spread out. But for the goodness of God this morning. Oh, he is a merciful God. And, 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 even, and even as we, we, we look at this nation and its 57th celebration, independence slash republic, however you want to put it, we can see the hand of God upon this nation and its people. We cannot afford to take these things for granted. We, we, we may think what's going on in Israel or, or what's going on in, in, in the Ukraine is far from us. But we, we, we have to be mindful now of what's going on between Venezuela and Guyana. It's our, our doorstep, church. So we cannot afford to take these things for granted. And so for this month, our theme will be let God be praised. And these altars are open. You can come at any time. We are not following a particular script. This morning, because you see, the person next to you don't know where God has brought you from. The, the, the person next to you don't know why you want to lift up holy hands this morning, why you want to skip and jump and dance this morning, because only you, only you know for sure had it not been for God. Where would we be today? And so this is the 305th day of the year. Come on, church. We may have had one or two bad, year, bad days, but God, <laughs> hallelujah. But God, let God be praised this morning. Let him be praised this morning. So if you want to remain standing, you can remain standing. If you want to be seated, you can be seated. If you want to come to the altar, you can come to the altar. Because sometimes we, we come into the sanctuary expecting God to give us his very best. But what are we offering him? He's not a God that is only interested in handouts. 
He has has created us so that we can praise him and glorify him. Come on, church. How how many of you appreciate that what we cannot do, God is able? He says with man, with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So whatever he commands us to do, we ought to do it with joy and gladness. Knowing that he has given us this garment of praise to overcome every spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. And we believe sincerely and we have tested God to know that when the praises go up, the blessings come down in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are a glorious God. You are a great and awesome and a mighty God. May we praise him this morning for who he is. He's an awesome God. The God that created the heavens, the God that created the earth, the God that created all things. We have a relationship with him. We can have intimacy with him. We can lavish our love upon him because he first loved us. He chose us. And so this morning we look past We look past all the situations and the circumstances that want to come in our way. Because these things are temporary, church. But as long as we are determined in our hearts to hold on upon the unchanging hand of God. Oh, his hands are not too short to deliver us. He is a faithful God and he deserves the praise. He deserves all the honor. In all the glory. And we're reminded of the song of Moses in Exodus chapter 15. But before we go there, I just want to set the background. In Exodus chapter 14, it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses. How many of you appreciate the fact that God is still speaking to us, church? He still wants to instruct us. As to the way he wants us to go. But we have to be in a place, a position where we are listening to the voice of God. Where we are being diligent to his word. And we are purposeful and intentional in following the word of God. Receiving that word with joy and gladness. We have to be in that place. And we are all familiar With the story of the crossing of the Red Sea. It tells us that Pharaoh will say to the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. How many of you appreciate that some things we have to go through the wilderness? Some things we feel shut in. Some things we feel hemmed in on all sides. The enemy seems to be attacking us from all directions. But we have the, the assurity that the favor of the Lord has encamped around us. He, he has his angels to protect us. God is able to deliver us out of every situation, every circumstance. So when that spirit of heaviness come upon us, we have to continue to praise him. In all the various situations of life, we have to keep our eyes Upon the almighty God. Because he is faithful. The enemy, they, they, they may seem to be outnumbering us. And we remember the, 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 the account where the prophet asked God to open the eyes of his servant. Because he was terrified to see the armies encamping around them in vast numbers. In the physical sense. But God opened his spiritual eyes so that he was able to see that there was more on their side than against him. And that is the perspective from which we have to see situations today. Whatever is coming up against us today, God is able in the name of Jesus. God is able to turn back the hands of the enemy and cause us to triumph. In every situation. 
Bible tells us that in the, in the account, and I'm not going to read everything, say, that the children of Israel went out with a high hand. With a high hand, a high hand of God. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 tells us, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither is ear heavy that he cannot hear. And God, God is, is, is lavishing. He, 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 is in, he, he is, is in our praise this, this morning. He's enjoying the praise of his people this morning. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 tells us, fear thou not. And that is the word that we have to embrace this morning. In light of life circumstances, fear not, church. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. Is the God of heaven your God this morning? Then fear not. Fear not. He said, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. God is able, church. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth violently. And he declared that I shall not die. But live and declare the works of the Lord. The children of Israel thought that the Pharaoh and his army was going to destroy them. They seemed hedged in. Pharaoh coming from one side and a vast ocean. And sometimes we may not see the way out. But where there is a little church, there's a way. And as long as we allow God to be at the center of our lives, the chief commanding arm officer in our lives, God will indeed deliver us. Yes, there will be times of fear. The enemy may want to bring doubt and discouragement. But we have to keep our eyes upon God and hold firmly onto his unchanging hands. And so fear, Moses said to the people, fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians who you have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. There is a day of deliverance coming, church. There is an appointed time when the, the whatever, whatever these, these, these rough seas, these oceans, whatever is coming up against us, that we will see them again no more forever. A time of peace is coming. When, 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 when the, the, the illnesses and the diseases that want to wreak havoc in our bodies, God will remove them completely, permanently. When the oppression that, that want to come up against us, the, all the demonic attacks. And they want you to tell yourself that there is an appointed time. That situation that confronts you, one day you will see it no more. Suddenly, suddenly, you will see it no more. But we have to believe and trust in God. Psalm 30, Psalm 30 verse 4 tells us, Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Thou hast turned me from mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth, and girded me with gladness to the ends that my glory may sing praise to thee. And not be silent, O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. And that ought to be our attitude as we go through, as we journey through this life. 
to always have the attitude of praise because it, it, is, a, it is a sign of our gratitude to God. It is a sign of our humility. We, 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 we set aside self acknowledging that we can do nothing without God. But with God, all things are possible. And that is why we praise him. That is why we exalt him today. Because he is worthy. He is worthy. So what is the situation that is confronting you this morning? I say let God be praised. Let us keep that praise offering upon our lips. Always exalt in him for who he is and what he has done for us. Psalm 57 verse 90, 11 tells us, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. And as we stand to our feet this morning, that is our prayer. Let us stand to our feet and give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. So that this temple will be filled with his glory. Hallelujah. So that these empty vessels will be filled with his glory. Hallelujah. As the worship team comes, the altars are open this morning. Let us give him a sacrifice of praise. We're not necessarily going to lay hands on you. So the invitation is yours. The choice is yours to come to the altar and meet the true and living God. Fill this place with your glory, Lord. Rejoice for the steps. Yes, Lord. Of a righteous man. Yes, Lord. They are
were in the time of trouble. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider have been thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. And I will prepare him an habitation. My father's God. And I will exalt him. The Lord, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The right hand of the Lord is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O oh Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sent forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And this morning, that is our prayer this morning. That, that, that is our, our, our attitude this morning. That even for those who are here at the altar, we can declare that the Lord God, he is your God. Hallelujah. He will strengthen you. Yes, he, will. he will restore you. He said that his grace, his grace is sufficient for you. Yes. The word reminds us that at the midst of our weakness, the strength of God is made perfect. Yes, Lord. So Father, Lord, let the resurrection power of Christ yes, Jesus Lord. come upon your Hallelujah. people right now. Jesus. Even as we praise you, Lord, as we lift you up on high, Lord, remember yes. our afflictions in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your great salvation plan. Thank you for forgiveness of sin, Lord. Thank you for bringing us back into right relationship with you in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, Lord, we can come to the throne this morning humbly, we can come with confidence and boldness, Lord. Every prayer request, Lord, this morning, we lift up to you in the name of Jesus. Touch bodies this morning, Father, Lord, let your healing virtue flow through your people from the crown of their heads, their God, to the soles of the feet this morning, Lord. Father, Lord, we pray that you will reward our faithfulness, Lord. Yes. Because we have come here today, we have brought a sacrifice of praise. We have given you our very best, Lord. So whatever the situation is this morning, Lord, we commit it into your hands in the name of Jesus. And we lift you up in praise, Lord Jesus. Oh, we choose to put on the garment of praise this morning. We throw up that spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. We are clothed in the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, thank you for renewing our minds, Lord. That we can know what is your good, perfect, and acceptable plan for our lives. Strengthen the hearts of your people today, Lord. Unite our hearts to fear you. Teach us your ways, Lord, that we will walk in your truth, Lord. Hallelujah. For we sang just now Hallelujah. that the steps of the righteous, they are, are ordered, ordered by the Lord. And so we walk by faith this Hallelujah. morning, Lord. We walk by faith this morning. Hallelujah. Knowing Hallelujah. that whatever you allow Jesus. in our lives, Lord, you who have begun this good work in us will bring it to completion Bless your name, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So for those at the altar, for those within the hearing of my voice, let God be praised this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, I said, let God be praised this morning. Because he alone is worthy of the honor. He alone is worthy of the glory and the praise this morning. Oh, and we bless you, Lord. Bless you. We say, bless the Lord, oh, Hallelujah. my soul. And all, all that is within me. And so, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father Lord. For the move of the Holy Spirit in this service. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, dear God, for delivering your people in the name of, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, Father Lord, I bring the Dell family before you. Thank you One of our very own, Lord, that was involved in a car accident last night in the name of Jesus. 
For Lord, we pray, dear God, that you would mend anything, dear God, that has been broken. You will restore, dear God, and bring back into alignment, dear God, all the body parts, dear God, all the body organs, all the body functions. Touch, dear God, that chest, dear God, and remove that chest pain from Carla in the name of Jesus right now, Lord. Let her experience your touch in the name of Jesus. Touch her husband, Lord. Touch that head in the name of Jesus that there will be no fractures in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord. We pray, dear God, that your anointing will come upon them in the name of Jesus, Lord. You are their refuge and their strength and their strong tower this morning. So we lift them up in praise, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Lord, for doing it. We thank you for keeping us, sustaining us in the name of Jesus. In the times of trouble, Lord, you are our present help yeah. in times of trouble. And so we come to you today, Lord. Oh, we have what an honor and a privilege it is, Lord, to lift you up in praise. Church, you understand that there are some places in the world that yes. this is not possible. Yes. Mm. Jesus. We are persecution and victimization. And that is why we have to pray not only for ourselves and the body of Christ, but we have to pray for our leaders, our government. That they will all come to know you. Yes. And that they will have such strong conviction in their hearts. That they will not do anything that is against your will for this nation. We cannot take these things for granted, church. We have to be in tune with what is going on in the world. And we have to intercede upon these things. We have to be fervent in our prayer. And we have to live the life. We have to live the life of Christ. Because if we are to be vessels, if we are to be conjugate of, of Jesus Christ, if our testimony is to bear fruit, we have to be genuine in our conviction. Amen. So, Father Lord, we give you praise this yes, morning. You, Probably there's someone here today who needs to ask Jesus Christ to come into their life as Lord and Savior. If that person is you, just come quickly to the altar. We're not inviting you to a denomination. We're inviting you to a relationship with yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. Perhaps you have given your life to Christ at some other point in time, but now you find yourself in a backslidden situation. You feel far and separated from God. I want to assure you that God still loves you. He said, even as he is lifted up, he will draw all manner of men unto himself. So is he drawing you this morning? Is he drawing you this morning? I want to ask you to pray for your loved ones, those that you know are far and separated from God. Father Lord, this morning we lift up our family members, our relatives, and our friends. We pray, dear God, for your anointing, dear God, upon them. We pray that you will soften their hearts, Lord. Snatch them out of the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. We declare that our sons and daughters, dear God, Drugs and alcohol and, and all types of crime and violence will not be their lot in life in the name of Jesus. They will not see prison, dear God. They will come into the house of God. The only door they will enter is the door is their God of salvation in the name of Jesus. So we call them for out of darkness and we call them into the light, the precious light of your son Jesus Christ this morning. So we give you praise this morning, Lord. Father Lord, even as we are about to transition, we thank you, dear God, that you have given us the power to create wealth. You have made us stewards, dear God, of all that is of you. We are heirs and poor heirs, Lord. And as we prepare our offering this morning, Lord, we pray, dear God, that you will bless us in the name of Jesus. Bless us in our pockets. Bless us in our purses. Bless us in our wallets, Lord. Bless us in our covers in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, dear God, that you will secure our jobs and our income, our pensions in the name of Jesus. We pray, dear God, that it will stretch, dear God. Father, Lord, we pray, dear God, that it will multiply in the name of Jesus. And even as we give you, dear God, our very best, dear God, you will continue to be a blessing to us so that we could be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. Father, this morning we pray, dear God, for our, our Sunday services. 
or 7.30 service or 10.15 service, junior church, there goes. And we pray, dear God, that this weekend will be one, dear God, where we will see a visitation of the Most High God. We pray, dear God, even as we leave here, dear God, your praises will be upon our lips, Lord. Touch our lips, dear God. Lord, let us ever cease, dear God, from praising you and giving you thanks in the name of Jesus. Give us that new song. Give us a new song in our spirit, Lord. That persons will see, dear God, they will experience, dear God, they will smell, dear God, oh, the righteousness of Christ Jesus upon us, Lord. Let us carry a glory. Let us carry a splendor. Let us carry a majesty from this place today, Lord. Oh, so the saints say, let God be praised this morning, Lord. So stand to your feet and give him a praise offering. As the worship team closes us off this morning, I will sing unto you the Lord, your for he has tried if glorious be the hearts and ride us rolling to the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has tried if glorious be the hearts and ride us rolling to the sea.